<laughs> Did you know tree hugging is forbidden in China? I did not know that, but it kind of doesn't surprise me considering how things are going in China lately. But, you know, China is everywhere. It's becoming a major economic force, and I'm not sure if all of you have heard, but China made Apple apologize to them. That was the most recent story that I've heard. Yeah, so Apple has a policy of a one-year warranty, and so they have taken a lot of criticism in China because China has a state policy of all these electronic goods are supposed to have two-year warranties. So these people were going back to these Apple stores saying, you know, oh, this is broken, whatever, and, and they're saying, oh, it's you know, beyond the one-year warranty. And so it was raising quite a, a fuss over there. And the head of, of Apple, the CEO, actually issued a formal apology to China saying, we will rework our support policies because we want to make sure that you guys are happy. And that's the kind of economic force that China has become. It's now, it's not just billions of people that they're dealing with, they are a new economic force. They were saying that they expect, because I mean, Apple is very popular here in the US, but it's kind of saturated the market. I mean, they, they have their fans and their fans will always go back and get their new stuff. But it really is kind of saturated, whereas China has an estimated 1.3 billion potential new clients for Apple. And so that means that Apple cannot afford to have China mad at it. So yeah, tree hugging may not be allowed. They are allowed to hug their iPhones. They <laughs> definitely embrace their electronics. And Apple <laughs> is on board. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs>